So, in case anybody doesn't know, um, um, PZ is actually a developmental biologist at the University of Minnesota at Morris. Um, he actually does science, and that's why his blog is called Thuringula, and you'll find out why on his blog. Um, he says here that it takes a ruthlessly godless view of biology, evolution, and the culture wars. Um, what kind of what kind of responses do you have you been getting over the, what, what's the trend over the past year do you actually get people um, who just take issue with you all the time or are you just promoting a, a sort of four horsemen of the counter apocalypse view <laughs> uh, it, it, it goes both ways so yes I, I get very strong responses I've got this big blog but I live in a teeny tiny little town on the western edge of, of Minnesota where the joke is that, you know, we're not in the middle of nowhere, we're on the edge of nowhere because we're 50 miles from South Dakota. So I'm, I'm very isolated there. And this is a very conservative community. We've got 5,000 people living there and 14 churches and so forth. Um, and on the, on the Internet, I, I'm, the, I'm the big, loud atheist, and I'm known as the village atheist of Morris in the community there. But so, so people know you and they know who you oh, are? Everyone knows everybody in Morris. In the, when you're walking down the street, do they kind of go on the other side of the street? <laughs> no, that's, that's the point. They don't go to the other side of the street. That people actually come up to me and shake my hands in the middle of the street. I've had people come up to me and give me hugs in the middle of the street because even though they're, they're, they're not atheists necessarily, although some of them are, they appreciate the value of the conversation. Um, I'm, I'm, all, I'm also notorious for being brutal with creationists and there are churches in my town that are very conservative and they regularly have creationist speakers come in and I go to these things and uh, you know I, I did this just a few weeks ago I went I went to the very conservative local church and uh, sat down and, and the the minister looked in horror because apparently I learned later all of his students who go to that church had come to talk to him and explain to him that that I eat babies for breakfast and I would come there with a, with a sword and slaughter everyone. And the thing is, if, if you go to these things and you, sit, and you sit there and you listen quietly and then you ask pointed questions and you don't eat live babies in front of them, all of a sudden they're, they're very impressed. They, they think I'm, I'm one of the most courteous, you know, courteous savages they've ever met because I, I, I actually have conversations with them. So I, I, kind of, I kind of reject the notion that we should not label ourselves as, as atheists. What we need to do is we need to label ourselves as atheists and stand up in a civil manner in front of these people and, and have a conversation, like this conversation that's been going on here. Um, you know, there, there, are, there are a lot of people I know in, in this small community who, who I will tell to watch this on, on the Internet and they will have strong objections to various things, but I think they will be impressed that, you know, we're, we're not, we're not putting on this flag and charging into an army. We're, we're putting on this flag and we're saying, now it's time to talk. Here's, here's our position. Let's, let's discuss things. Has the, <clears throat> has the traffic on your site, has, the, has the, the tenor of the discourse changed over the last year when the, all the activity has been out there about the, the so-called new atheists? It's, it's become a kind of rallying point for many of the people who sympathize with the new atheists. So, um, yes, there, there, there's, a, there's a lot of conversation going on there. There's a lot of comments. You know, so, for instance, when Sam made those comments at the convention last month that he, he got booed for... Disavowing the A-word? Yes. Uh, you know, that, that, that conversation was echoed very much so on, on my blog, and I made a few comments along those lines, too. Um, but again, it's, it's, it's one of those things where we encourage everyone to share their ideas pro or con. And I, you know, if, if we didn't disagree, we, if we didn't make these disagreements open, there'd be nothing to talk about. And I think that's the important thing. Yeah. Sam, do you have any thoughts on that? <clears throat> um, well, I guess I'm just tempted to split the difference between PZ and, and Jeff on this because I, I think there's. I, I, you know what I think about the, the label, and I, I, I totally agree with um, uh, Jeff's entrepreneurial take on it, but the, um, I think there's a different burden of candor on it. I mean, I'm not, nothing that I said should, should suggest that I think Jeff should go across to his neighbor's house and, and tell them everything they believe is bullshit. 
Uh, but there's a different burden of candor on us when we write an editorial or stand at a lectern or get interviewed on the news. Then I think we really have to call a spade a spade and and realize there are other situations that just require for require more tact and um, elision. I mean, you know, when you're in a crowded elevator, that's not the time to start raving about uh, Jesus being uh, dead as an animal. Uh, but but there are there are moments to say something just that candid, I think, and and that's uh, and so yeah. That's I think this is the point that Peter Atkins was making yesterday. Actually, that, that there's this. There's a place and time to sort of craft the language um, in a crystalline fashion. Other places where you're just talking, and that should be okay as well. But right. well, but I'm I'm saying though that, that the word atheist is not necessarily a red flag like that. That what we need to do is we need to work to, you know, to to soften the blow. That to make atheism a respectable intellectual position rather than something that people respond to by by getting upset. Uh, so I, I agree completely. I would not go over I would not go over to Jeff's neighbor or my neighbor and and assault them intellectually with these ideas, but I would not hide the fact that sure, I'm an atheist, you're you're a Christian. We've got these labels, but of course those labels encompass a, a, a wide range of different views and let's let's negotiate. Let's discuss those views. Great, thank you.